Miss Christine, we appreciate you taking time uh, out of your busy schedule to come to our classroom. And uh, thank you for reviewing our letters and uh, coming here to respond to them. It is honor. Uh, it is our honor to have you here. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. It's an honor to be here. <laughs> thank you all for taking some time out of your schedule. I can't thank you enough for calling Fort Wayne your home right now. It's, uh, I, try to be, I try to be a mayor that welcomes everyone into Fort Wayne who wants to come to Fort Wayne. Uh, not every community, unfortunately, uh, does that. But I pride myself in, uh, in knowing Fort Wayne is not one of those cities. We try to be as diverse as possible. And if you want to call Fort Wayne home, then we welcome you. Uh, and the fact that you're taking time to learn English, and English is not an easy language. <laughs> it's extremely hard. Uh, if, I, if I weren't born with it, I probably couldn't speak it. Uh, but, uh, so the fact that you're taking the, uh, the time to, to learn English, uh, you should be very proud of the fact that you've come this far. Uh, I, you know, when I was in high school, and in college, I took Spanish because there was a lot of uh, Hispanic people in Fort Wayne. My sister is married to an Hispanic. My other sister is married to an Hispanic, so I thought I'd better learn Spanish. <laughs> and I took it, but I hardly ever used it. And now I've forgotten almost everything that I learned. <laughs> but that's important. That's an important statement for me to make because once you acquire English comfortably, keep using it. Because if you don't use it, you will lose it. So uh, use it as much as you possibly can. And if you don't, if you don't know of anybody to speak English, to come to my office. Yay! And uh, we'll be glad to talk to you. Uh, because it's really that important to have everyone understand each other. You know, my, my father, uh, who, who's no longer with us, he used to tell me growing up that of everything that you could possibly learn, communication was the most important. If you can't communicate with each other, then it, life becomes very difficult. And I tried to remember that, and that's why I encourage all of us to learn each other's language as best we can, no matter where you're from. Uh, because the better we can communicate, the more we understand, the less fear there is, the less anger there will be, because you can talk to one another. So the fact that you're taking the time to learn English. Now, how many of you are, are going to call Fort Wayne home permanently or want to? Most of you? Good, good. Well, welcome. Yeah, how many of you are American citizens now? Well, not, not too many yet. Well, hopefully, you'll decide to stay in Fort Wayne. Fort Wayne's the, probably the best city in the country. So, if you want to call Fort Wayne home, ultimately, by all means, you're, you're more than welcome. If you want to go to another city or, or back to your, to your country of origin, obviously, uh, that's that's fine too. My biggest 
challenge as mayor of, of our city is to make sure that as many of our citizens as possible and as many of our visitors as possible are happy. So I'll do whatever I can to make your stay here as comfortable as possible. And I will do whatever we can to make sure that whenever you leave Fort Wayne, you can look back and say that you had a good time in our city. So, okay. Now, does anybody have any questions? Don't be shy. <laughs> How do you feel to be mayor? How does it feel to be mayor? Being mayor is probably the best job in the world. <laughs> Why? Why? Because I, I'm in a position where I can affect change. And being able to change a city to make it a little bit better place to live is a pretty cool job. I can change laws. I can affect change of employment. I can, you know, the police department works for me. <laughs> That's the fire nice. department works for me. I have about 2,000 employees. So all these people that clean the streets and that work in the parks department, and as I said, of the police department, the fire department, they work in the sewers of the city. All those people work for me. And I can change their working conditions to make our city a little bit better place to live if I, if, if I figure I needed to do that. So to be, to be in a position where you can change people's lives, hopefully for the better, is a, is, is, a, is a neat position to be in. So that's why I've been hanging around for a while. I've been mayor now 11 years. Wow. So I have one more year to go on this term, and then we'll decide whether or not I'm going to try again. No mayor has ever served four terms. So we'll have to see whether or not that's in the cards for me. I still have to talk my wife into it. <laughs> she's, uh, she's, she's getting kind of tired of me never being home. <laughs> that's one of the hard parts about this job is that uh, I'm not at home very much. Uh, I work a lot of nights. but. That's when a lot of my meetings are, and a lot of the dinners are, um, a lot of the banquets and so on. They're all in the evening. So I work in my office most of the day, and then every night, almost every night of the week, I go to different functions. So, but it's still a great job. You know, I get to do things that most people never get a chance to do. You know, we have over 300 million Americans, and most of the people, 99% of those people, more than that, will never get a chance to do some of the things that I've been able to do. What a position to be in. I mean, I've had dinner with the president. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Obama, I sat down at the table right with them and had dinner. How many people have a chance to do that? Not too many. Mrs. I like Mrs. Obama better than the president. <laughs> she is, uh, not only is she better looking, she's, I think she's also smarter. Uh, she is very, very nice and very smart. But to be able to, to go into the White House, uh, not too many people ever get that chance. I've traveled all over the world representing our city and met with presidents of other countries and mayors of other cities all over the world. How many people ever get a chance to do that? So that's one of the neat things about being able to be mayor of a city, especially one as big as Fort Wayne. You know, we're about the 85th largest city in the country. Really? Not, yeah, a lot of people don't realize that. We're the second largest in Indiana. A lot of people know that. Indianapolis, number one, we're number two. But in the country, we're about the 85th largest. There's only 85 cities in the whole country larger than us. You know, you hear about Chicago and New York and Detroit and Miami, Los, Los Angeles, all the, yeah, those are all big cities. But after about 25 or 30 of those, then it drops down <laughs> real quick. So we have a city of about 265,000. And yeah, we're about the 85th largest, somewhere in that, right around there. So we're actually pretty powerful. So. If I want to, I can go to Congress and try to get things done because we are a big city. So that's another neat thing about being mayor. So it's a, it, that's why it's such a good job. 
Other questions? Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Excellent question. A lot of people want to know if I have a bodyguard. <laughs> Actually, I'm entitled to one. I can have one if I want one, but I don't. John follows me around, but he usually just there again. He takes my picture. He takes my picture wherever I go. For fake for Facebook. Um, oh, you have a Facebook? Oh God! Oh well, yes. <laughs> and I have a Twitter and Twitter and Instagram. And Instagram. Oh, okay. And I do Facebook Live. I know all this new stuff. <laughs> I I told my granddaughter. I have a granddaughter. She's uh, 15 years old. And I told her the other day. I said, "Your grandfather. I just learned how to do Facebook." <laughs> and she said, "Grandpa." She said, Facebook is for old people. <laughs> she said, you know how to Instagram? And I said, no. She said, go back to school. <laughs> so it's, uh, you know, we try to stay up with modern technology. That's what John does for me. He's in charge of all of the social media things. Okay. But I don't have a bodyguard because I've been in Fort Wayne all my life. My family has been in Fort Wayne for over 100 years. Everybody knows my family. And if you want to know where I live, you just look me up in the phone book. Or look me up on Google. So if you want to find me, you can find me. So I don't need a bodyguard. If you're going to, if you're going to hurt me, there's easy, easy ways of hurting me. <laughs> bodyguard, that, to me, that's a waste of a police officer. They got more important things to do than to follow me around. But uh, a lot of young people want to know if I have a big car and or I have a limousine. Do you drive? And I do drive. I'm supposed to have a driver, but I don't take one. The and again, I don't want to waste a police officer's time driving me around. They got more important things. I'd rather drive myself. It also gives me time to think. Uh, as long as I don't text, don't yeah. text and drive. So. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, I just have a regular car, like most of you. Uh, but a lot of people don't understand the mayor's position. And that's the reason I try to get out like this and meet all of you. That's the reason I go for walks in neighborhoods, uh, is because I'm no different than you are. But a lot of people think mayors are up here somewhere, and we're not. We're just normal people. So. After I'm done being mayor, I'll be going to the grocery store right next to you. Oh. Same as I do now. So. Any other questions? Uh, sure. I'm sorry. Um, you are planning to run for a governor? Oh, <laughs> for governor? <laughs> because, because I think you have a lot of possibilities. Well, you're very kind. Thank you. It's, uh, I've been, I was on city council 20 years. And I've been mayor now, as I mentioned, for 11. By the time this term is done, it will be 12. So that's 32 years in, in public service. And I've enjoyed every bit of it. But I'm also getting old. And I don't know how many more years I have in me. Uh, maybe, maybe for mayor again. I'm not sure about governor. Uh, the, uh, uh, I enjoy being mayor of Fort Wayne because, again, our family's been here long enough where I know a lot of people. A lot of people know us. I know how to try to get things done in the city because I know a lot of people. When you're governor, you got to kind of start all over again. And uh, if I were 20 years younger, maybe. But I'm pretty happy being there. Uh, did you read uh, our letters? Or no? Are your assistants? Oh, oh, yeah, I read all your letters. Okay. Oh, I, I get a lot of letters and a lot of emails, and I try to read as many as I can. The, your letters come right to me. Uh, everybody's letters come to me. The emails, uh, I have uh, people that look at the emails before I get them, because some of the emails they don't want me to see. Uh, some people actually don't like me. I cannot believe that. <laughs> <laughs> and they sometimes let me know. Oh. in very uh, strong words that they don't oh. care for things I do. Well, that, that, that's okay. That's right. uh, but my staff sometimes take those emails out. They don't let, they don't let me see them. Good. And that's, Good. It. that's okay. Mm -hmm.
Uh -huh, sure. In your 11 years as mayor, what are you most proud of? Boy, that's a, that's a good question. Uh, because we tried to do a lot in the last 11 years. Um, probably one of, the, one of the things I'm most proudest of is the social media that we've started using. Because not everybody uh, can visit me, and I can't visit everybody, there's too many people. So, but I want you to be able to be able to communicate with me. And social media is now so easy to do, whether it's by your telephone or iPhone, excuse me, uh, or, your, uh, or your computer. Uh, and even if you don't have a computer, you can go to the library and get access to a computer or somebody else's. I've tried to make it real easy to communicate with me. Uh, and as I said, we, you know, we use Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and and we have Facebook Live, and I have podcasts now, and we try to do as much as we can to be able to have you and me talk to one another. Uh, and we've been working on that hard for a long time, and I think uh, I think we're doing a pretty good job. Uh, that's probably one of the proudest uh, things that I've been able to say we've accomplished. Now we've done a lot of buildings, uh, the Martin Luther King Bridge. Uh, mm -hmm. that you drive over coming to town. That was the very first project I ever did, and I'm real proud of that. And hopefully in about two more years, we're going to build another one uh, going out of town. Uh, so we're working on that now. But we tried to make downtown a real nice place to be, uh, a safe place, a lot of entertainment, a lot of restaurants, and so on. We're, we're still doing more and more, but we try to make downtown a kind of a fun place to be, too. So, uh, but yeah, social media is probably, probably one of the proudest things that, that I've been able to accomplish. So, um, hooking on to making downtown a great place to be, a lot of our letters uh, focused on what we could do to help make Fort Wayne more beautiful. Mm -hmm. And environmental, I noticed that, yes. yes. And um, we, I thought that a lot of the suggestions that the students had were, were pretty thoughtful. Mm -hmm. And do you have like a, like a task force, or do you have a group of people that you yes. meet with that? that come up with new ideas or we have we have a person who's in charge of energy and sustainability mm -hmm. as a little bit away from environment mm -hmm. but we can connect them pretty easily mm -hmm. uh, some of your suggestions had to do a lot with unfortunately uh, the amount of trash we have in our community and what we can do to try to keep our city clean mm -hmm. and some of you suggested and it's interesting because I was with a high school class the other day and they kind of said the same thing. Mayor, you gotta make it easier for people to get rid of their trash and to recycle. Now some communities if, uh, if, uh, that I've been to, if you go around town, they've got a double bin, double trash bin. One side of it's recycling and the other side of it's trash. And we don't have very many of those. We have a few, but not, not too many. And I'm thinking about talking to our, we have a downtown committee, and I'm thinking about talking to them and providing them with the money to do a lot more of that downtown. If we expect more people to come downtown, if that's what we're trying to do, then we need to make it easier for them to keep downtown clean. Uh, so that's one thing we can do to protect, to protect our environment. Uh, but there's other things as well. We have uh, uh, a, a, a lot of recyclable items that go into our landfill. And so we've got to educate all of our public more and more on recycling and what can be recycled and what can't be. Uh, even though we have a pretty good recycling program now, you'd be surprised at how much is still thrown away that can be recycled. Uh, and also, we're, we're trying to do more and more with what they call waste to energy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a little graphic here, but uh, human waste. 
human waste, every community has it. Most communities don't do much with it. But you can actually convert human waste to energy. You can turn it into electricity. And we're doing that in Fort Wayne. And we're already powering several of our buildings with methane, which is the gas that's produced from, from uh, human waste. What I'd like to do is to increase that and take it to other communities. Most communities don't have the technology that we have uh, to do that. So I'd like to do is put together a team to go to other communities. So there's a lot we can do there. So there's, I could spend the whole afternoon talking to you about different environmental challenges that we have and how we can go about perhaps meeting those challenges. But your letters were very, very timely in today's world. Uh, we, you know, we as a society, Americans, and I must say Americans because this isn't true all over the world, Americans, uh, we just don't have enough respect for our earth, for our land. Uh, that's a terrible thing to say, but we don't. We really abuse our land, and we need to have more respect for it. And hopefully through education, we'll get there. But for right now, we, that makes, that's a big challenge for all of us. We have a mayor's cleanup day every year, and they pick up thousands of tons of trash throughout our community, and it shouldn't have to be that way. Is that once a year? We have actually we have two. We have the Great American Cleanup. That's one. Then we also have a Mayor's Cleanup, so we do it twice a year. Okay. All right. But they just pick up tons and tons of trash. Shouldn't I, have to be that way. I know. And when my classes went out, just within a four-block radius of here, yeah. we picked up more than 50 pounds. Yeah. Just within four blocks of here, in in a matter of an hour. Well, thank you all for doing that. Uh, I, uh, there are several programs that we can, we can do in Fort Wayne that other cities have done where they've had a neighborhood adopt an entire neighborhood. And your job is to make sure your neighborhood stays clean. We have about 400, almost 500 neighborhoods in the city. Well, if each neighborhood took responsibility for their own neighborhood, we wouldn't have this problem. But not everybody. <coughs> Not everybody does that. So we still have some work to do there. Other questions? Great questions. Yes, ma'am. No question. Uh -huh. I need to thank you. <laughs> no question. Thank you, Mr. Henry, because um, your visit here today make me feel I am part of this community. Oh. Thank you so much. And I think all of they feel the same thing. And uh, I'm pretty sure all the population here, they like you. Because we hear that from them. And we are proud of you. And if we need you, we need from us to understand you because this program uh, we be, because this program, we, now we understand you. Because we get this English, and we need you to keep support us support this program, and encourage us to get our goals. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for your visit to us. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Thank You're you. very kind. Thank you. Well, it really has been a pleasure to stand before you for a few minutes. Most of all, I wanted to thank you. Thank you for believing in our community. Thank you for taking the time to learn another language. As I mentioned, English is not an easy language to learn. And the fact that you've taken the time uh, to learn it uh, speaks a lot about you. And if you ever need anything, uh, I'm just right down the street. Thank you. I'm only about two or three blocks away. Uh, and I'm serious. If you ever need anything, uh, call my office. It's very, very easy. You just call 311. Just call 311 and ask for my office. Or let whoever answers the phone, let them know what your problem is. Their job is to take care of you. So thank you so much for inviting me. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.